three days after the MediShield Life Review Committee was set up, I made an adjournment motion speech in Parliament where I set forward certain proposals that I had on how I think uh, we can improve MediShield uh, by firstly having a MediShield premium subsidy scheme uh, such that vulnerable groups of Singaporeans, uh, people like the elderly who are, who are low income, people with disabilities and those who have exhausted their MediSafe accounts will be able to receive some form of uh, subsidies and their premiums so that the premiums will not will be affordable for them. And uh, I hope that some of these groups can be pre-qualified such that they don't, they don't even have to apply for the schemes but they will be automatically qualified for the schemes so that they'll get all the subsidies that they need uh, to be able to maintain that coverage that they, uh, for the medical insurance. I believe that uh, philosophy drives policy and if you want to change policies, you have to look at the underlying philosophies and change those underlying philosophies. And uh, the government's philosophy towards healthcare financing has been set out over 20 years ago in their, their Affordable Healthcare White Paper in 1993. And uh, essentially some of the philosoph philosophies that they put forward in that was that um, uh, Singaporeans must take personal responsibility over their health care and what, that's, what this means is that uh, there's no free health care provided and that co-payments are necessary for all uh, treatments uh, and an another philosophy that they have is that uh, uh, we cannot rely too much on government subsidies or medical insurance. Now if we take this to the extreme, what happens is that uh, a lot of the payment for health care is borne out of pocket by individuals and that's what we have seen in the last 20 years where a lot of the healthcare burden has been shifted from the government to individual patients and that is what people feel when they say that they find that healthcare is unaffordable. It's because a lot of the payments that they have to make is out of pocket at the point of treatment and so that, that makes it feel that healthcare becomes very expensive for them. And so I hope to see a shift in, those, in that thinking uh, behind co-payments and a shift in the thinking behind uh, the amount of money that the government is willing to put into subsidizing healthcare. Um, specifically on co-payments, uh, I don't think it's necessarily wrong to have co-payments, but co -payment, the principle of co-payments cannot be applied blindly across to everybody. Uh, for example, uh, research has actually shown that having high co-payments would actually discourage a lot of low-income patients from seeking the necessary care that they need. And if these low-income patients are deterred from seeking the necessary care, what happens is that they will end up getting sicker, uh, they won't take their medication, they may skip doctor's visits, and they get worse. So when they get worse, they'll have to be admitted to hospital, and that costs both them and the healthcare system a lot more than if they were to be treated earlier on. They are entitled to their opinions, uh, but our record has been quite clear. In the past uh, three years since this, uh, this parliament has, has been sitting, uh, our MPs have raised over 400 questions in parliament. We've made over 200 speeches. And all of those speeches, uh, we have stated our position on various, many different issues uh, concerning Singaporeans. So I don't think we have been sitting on the fence on, on issues. Uh, the, the positions that we might take on certain issues might be considered by, by many Singaporeans to be moderate. And, but that's really what we are. We are a moderate party. Uh, we are not a party of extremists. And uh, the positions that we arrive at are based on what we feel are best for Singapore, uh, benefit Singaporeans the most. And uh, we hope that most Singaporeans will be persuaded by, by our position on issues. Uh, but those are honestly held positions. And uh, I, I think uh, on uh, various issues, especially bread and butter issues, I think we have never hesitated to take a stand on, to, on those issues.